Most people in life recognize that there are rules of engagement. Rules of engagement are the rules of getting involved with someone. Rules of engagement are the social ideas that we have of what is politically correct and polite speech that allows you to open someone into conversation. There are also rules of timing that allow you to know when the conversation needs to close because it's either starting to go on too long or it's starting to become awkward and the experience of positivity becomes lost. People need to understand that if they are going into a second or third marriage concept, they need to understand what is and isn't appropriate. They also need to understand that if they have children, those children have to be ready to go. They have to be ready to follow their mom's lead or their father's lead. And they have to be willing to accept the choices of their parent. Children that have been given too much freedom, too much leeway, too much what do you want and it's okay without a parent stepping in going, you know, you've had chicken nuggets for the last seven days in a row. I don't think that's good for your bowels and you need a little variety or something as simple as that really end up having difficult kids. And that's on them. Parents have to decide what is right for a child. A parent can use a pay pendulum or a faith fob to help them select food at the store that gives their family variety, that gives their children the right kind of nutrition, that gives them the right cellular health for their brains to work, their bodies to function, and their bowels to move. It's not a joke. I do this all day long. I literally check everything with God. I do that out of honoring the Lord's gifts to me. And every day I get better and better at what I can do. Every day I hear more and more what I should and shouldn't do. Every day I certainly get harassed by the angels who cover my ass and protect me from things in life. And they tell me, we don't want to wake you up with this monster because that's how you get in trouble. And we can't do that. But when we produce, we produce. Now a producer in life can always produce. The only question is, who is he producing for? People who write content often do it as a freelance. They write freelance content and get paid for it by the project. They get paid up front, they get paid in parts, they get paid at the end. It just depends on the relationship. It depends on whether it's a new client or a long-term client. Some clients pay producers or content writers by the month, and that gives them a stable income. If you can write about real estate, then that's super then you could get paid as a content writer for other realtors who don't know what to write about, don't have the time in their minds to do it, or don't have the inclinations to really be online, but they know they need to, but they don't want to. Everyone has talents, and those talents can always be redirected into a new industry. It's only how you sell it. If you're frustrated in the work you're doing and you don't feel like you're headed in the right direction financially toward your retirement, then you need to talk to somebody like me a consultant who truly listens, truly hears what are the possibilities for you. If you're a nurse and God is saying, please stop doing your nursing because you're going to get fucked by your stupid ideology and your lack of ethics, then you should leave that field and go into something else. I can't tell you what it is until I meet you, until I greet you, until God says, okay, they're ready to hear you. But in life, you have to be willing to understand that God gives gifts. And the gifts that God gives are based on certain things and certain criteria. But the number one thing that God does to honor a person who loves God is gifts them when they're in love. A person in love is a much safer person in the world than a person who is not in love. And that is the truth. A person who has love in their soul often gets better acquainted with people because they're willing to listen and hear their life stories. Life stories is what we enjoy watching in film and reading in books. Life stories is what we love to hear about on television and on YouTube channels and other things that we do for our own life to go through. Life stories give us lessons. We learn an awful lot from reading, an awful lot from hearing, an awful lot from listening, and an awful lot from exploring and discovering what God needs us to do.